All right, college students, I'm broadcasting from Blanding, Utah, and this is either my third or fourth attempt to do this. Apparently, I didn't have the sound turned up, and I thought I was recording on mute. So if you can't hear this, I'm not recording another one. You're going to have to lip read or something. If you hear background noise, my dad's doing construction in the bathroom, my mom's making deviled eggs, and my brother's painting on his iPad on the couch. But anyway, I just got done grading uh, your annotated bibliographies, and quite a few people had some uh, some minor errors uh, that if you correct, you can resubmit your annotated bibliography for full credit. I just want to make sure that you know how to do it the right way. So remember on the assignment, I linked an example. Let me click on this link right here, and then down here at the bottom it says annotated bibliography example. And when you open that, It'll show you what a final product should look like. Now, I don't think this example has as many sources as you're supposed to have, but the premise is the same. You have a citation with a hanging indent. So the first line is not indented. All the other lines are. And then you have an annotation under it that is a paragraph of information where you kind of summarize, uh, discuss the impact of the source and how likely you are to use it in your uh, final cop, your final product. Make sure your sources are in alphabetical order. You don't need to number them. You don't need bullet points or anything like that, okay? Um, if you don't know how to do the hanging indent, I inserted a link to a video with instructions for how to do a hanging indent. It's a minute and 22 seconds long. It walks you through the process of creating a hanging indent on Google Docs. Okay, the other thing that I graded were, were your um, working informal outlines. And as long as, uh, there's no specific format for those, as long as you organize the information in a way that makes sense to you, that's all I'm looking for. I just wanna see evidence that you've thought about how to organize your material before you started writing. And that leads me into the next thing that you should be working on is your first draft of this essay. Um, it doesn't have to be a completed draft. You know, your final product's going to be 3,000 words. I'm looking for about a thousand words on this first draft. And they don't, it doesn't even have to be starting at the beginning. It could be, you know, any thousand words that you're going to have in your essay. So if, you know, you're already writing about your solution, which wouldn't come until the end, uh, that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, as long as I just ha see content that you're producing that's going to be in your final product. If you need to have a one-on-one -on -one conference with me again, let me know and we can set up a Google Meet. Otherwise, just make sure you're checking Canvas frequently and staying on schedule to finish by the end of this month. All right, good luck, have fun.